Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. Last few episodes we've been out in our man drop side, had a bit of fun with this. We had the uh, the skid steer loading up the brakes, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to get some more sort of contracts that allow us to do stuff like that. But it has been, I think, four deliveries. I'm sure it was four deliveries now. Uh, so it's time to move on to a new vehicle if we can afford one, and we can. So we're going to go for something a bit different because... Obviously, we've done the rigid. We have our drop side, which was uh, one, which allowed us the most actual uh, delivery types. Uh, we didn't do all of them. Obviously, there's a bigger one here, um, but we we pretty much covered the others. Uh, we've been out in our minivan, and I think the only thing we didn't do was pull a caravan with it. So I think what I'm going to go with, it was a, a toss-up between... The panel van. Panel van options, I think, are much the same. I don't think there's any differences there. The panel van would be 23 grand, and that would be a lot of loading and pallets. It'd be a larger version, I think, of what we did with the minivan. But I think we're going to go with a pickup. 21,000, just under 20. Oh, we're going to go with this one. Just under 30 grand. We've got 78. And uh, we're going to go with this one. It's a little bit like, I believe it's a bit like a, it's not like a Ford Raptor type thing. Is that what that is? Raptor Ranger? Something like that. It's, it's along those lines, isn't it? Um, we're going to go with one of these. It's going to allow us to do two, two sizes of caravan. And we can pull the larger generators if we wish. Plus the, uh, the load and stuff we can do. And we can tow mini uh, forklifts and skid steers with it. And we can load up on the back. So there's a, a nice variety of work that we can do with this one. So again, I'm going to quickly go in, give it a paint job, and um, we'll get going. There we have it. Company blue. All good. There's, there's not a great deal of options, just a few colour sliders. But it, you know, it, makes it, it makes it ours. It makes it our own. So we'll, uh, let's hop in it and see what we can do. So we are still up at the construction yard where we left off. So lights on, engine up. Ooh, this is a bit... This is swanky. I like this. So I've not been disappointed with any of the vehicles so far. I really haven't. I think the models are absolutely fine. For the game that it is, the models are absolutely fine. I, again, I've seen worse models in higher-end simulators. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to knock that. Sounds alright. Well. Sounds different. Um, something that was touched on in someone else's video uh, in the Ellipse Gamers video, someone commented that everything sounds the same. This doesn't sound like anything else we've driven on the wrong side of the road. Nothing else sounds like this. Just got to put that out there. No, nothing else sounds like that. It is different. Is it perfect? Probably not. Is it the exact sound of that vehicle? Probably not, but it, there is variety to the sound. Stop finding things to complain about. So with this, we're going to go with, just so it is a little bit different. Are they larger? Are they bigger? Smaller. Bigger? Smaller. We'll take a big one. Uh, it's not a lot of money. Actually, if we take this one, it's not going far. And then we can head in there and see what we can get. That's what we'll do. A small jobby to get us going. You never know, we might be able to fit three, three jobs in since it's such a, a small job and low paying job. Now which way round is that facing? It's the back. It's pointing out for us, which is quite handy. Now there's going to be a risk of speeding in this because this is going to want to go a lot faster than the uh, the rigid and the drop side that we've been driving lately. I'm now thinking perhaps I didn't do... Did I do four jobs in the drop side? It doesn't matter if we didn't. I can soon bring it back and we can do some more if people want to see some more drop side. I, I definitely want to get something that's going to pull the big dump truck on the back, the big dump trailer, because the loading up of that was awesome. I loved loading that little trailer. It's doing the loading parts. That's probably the most fun. I haven't um, up the traffic. I did say a few episodes ago I might up the traffic, but I haven't done that and we seem to have more traffic at the minute anyway. Perhaps it is that time of day. I've not changed the time of day from when we let off last time. So it is whatever the time is. I haven't looked. 
It's seven o'clock. There we go. Seven o'clock says so there. Five miles. So be careful of the speed. I should imagine. 100k down here, maybe, yeah, it's more than, uh, maybe 80, just in case, right, but we've not got far to go at all with this, it's only a thousand creditos, we'll take them, thank you very much, anything for a razz about in our new truck, really, in our new pickup, now if we do see some golden crates. This should be easy to go and get them if I want to. I was a little bit disappointed off the last one, if I remember right. It was only worth like a thousand, wasn't it? And getting up and around there probably took longer than this little delivery did. Or is, is doing as we get into this little farm there. It's a little sunflower farm. Look at that. It's, pretty... it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god. My four-year-old started to watch content on YouTube where they talk a bit like that because he keeps telling me things like, oh my god, it's so cute, Dad. Go, shut up. <laughs> Not get it in there. Ooh. We'll just drive in. Is this easier than I think it is? Am I going to create a challenge for myself? How do we get in there? I have created a challenge for myself. Let's do a little... Round we go. Let's see how we get in. Exciting! Would be in the dark as well, wouldn't it? So how does this go in here? I was a bit faced that way with it as well. Oh, no, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Not a great deal of room, but... Eh, that is enough. That'll get, that'll, that might go. We'll just bump our truck in order to... get a little swing on it for them. I think that's in. It is in. Nice. So we'll take that. 1,000. Oh, it's like 1,500. Let's say 1,500. Let's say 1,500. Right. So let's head ourselves over to something with a, a little bit more of a variety to pick up. We'll see what we can get. Let's see what we can get you know, on the back or in the back. I want to grab a caravan. That's what I want. I want to grab a caravan. So I shall, I shall meet you in town. It might be morning as well, and I don't care about during the day. Right, so we've arrived at a... I believe it's a commercial end vehicle, I think that's what that is. I think that's what that stands for. Something like that. So let's see what we can get. So, what do I want, what do I want? Give me a caravan, please. Oh, they still got a caravan for me. Hmm. Disappointing, disappointing. Uh, shall we... What should we do? What should we do? Shall we load something on the back? Seven grand. It's quite a trip. Let's go and where's that? that's where is that where we that's where we're going? Ooh, don't know where that is. Don't know where that is. Right, but we've got a nice little uh, road trip, so we'll take that. Seven grand, we'll go for it. Right, big boy is in the loader. Got the tailgate. We're ready to take. Ready to accept your load. Beautiful, beautiful snatch. Just straight off. Clean. There we are. Strapped in, ready to go. All good. Maybe screenshot for the thumbnail as we're pulling around in something new. Start the engine. Pinched on my neck then. Right, let's go. This was quite fun to razz up here as well. Try not to drive like a lunatic on the way down. It's going to get paid. Seven grand a week. If we go a little bit quicker, we can squeeze a third job in. Since that first one was quite, quite short, we might test the handling of our pickup.
Let's see how it, let's see what it does under under pressure. We've got a time delivery, got to get it there. Let's see if we make it squeal a bit. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Got a little squeal out of it. Nice, it's cutting in. Mind us. 130, that's what I've put down. Quickly accelerates. Got to be mindful because we are going quicker than. Just in case we have a, a van or something, speeding van or something turn up on the sides, so we are risking it today. Speed cameras come overhead, so we just need to look out for that one. It should give us a little sign to let us know that there's uh, cameras coming. Should. Doesn't mean it will. Let's go through the forest today. It's not very thick, but this is the woodlands of the truck logistic world. Oh, we've got a camera down here. It's 100, I think that said. Back down. That's why cameras don't work. This is evidence as to why speed cameras are the deterrent. <laughs> what would be a deterrent is if I actually smashed this up and rolled down the cliff. He looked like he's gone quick. Look at him go. Go on, lad. He's up for a race, I reckon. Stay in your lane, mate. Stay in your lane. You make me nervous. It's quite often a camera yeah, at these places. I was looking on my sat nav, I didn't see what speed was. Probably 80. Might even be 100 because they're pulling away. That's generally how I judge speeds. How quick is everyone else get away from? I'm going to go under 80 just in case we come through on camera. Late there. Go around. Let's go. Can do some rally now. I don't think there's a handbrake. If there was, I'd be pulling it. Plenty of poke in this to be up here. Plenty of poke. So perhaps for a, gar a, a caravan. A garavan? What the hell's a garavan? For a caravan, perhaps I just need the solid blue ring and not a green blue ring. Because it's definitely said this can pull caravans and it can pull two sizes, and that's what we want. We want a caravan. To get caravan this episode, please. Thank you, sir. Oh, squealing again. Love it. I feel like Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> so much easier to handle as well with a, a wheel and pedal, I must say. I want to be trying to do this with the controller. Could I actually go left there? Let's loop this round. Perhaps we need to face a particular way for the delivery drop. Down here, 30. Just behave ourselves. Gotta be, gotta be. Some sort of collectible around here, hasn't there? Eh? Gotta be. Come on, where are you? Where's the big whirly box? Or is it just too obvious? Too obvious to be here. Apparently so. Apparently it's too obvious.
Oh, I'm nearly out of fuel. Where are we dropping off? Didn't think about fuel till this new vehicle. Oh, there it is. It's popped up. Right, so that we can try and get Caravan in after this, I'm gonna probably just head to the head to the gas station, head to the petrol station and then Then to a blue ring. But we'll take that 7,614. Yeah, we've got time for another jobby in this one. Right. I'm going to jump in the map. Gas station is that way. And then instead of going to a green and blue, we'll just go to a blue. Oh, going to cut you in here. Found one. Found one. It's on the side that it didn't want me to go down. It wanted me to go the other way, but I thought this way looked quicker. There you go. Oh, that one's worth a different amount. Unless they're worth more than what you get. It's worth 1500 We'll take it. Lovely job. Yeah, it wanted me to go back out the way I came in. And when we came past it, maybe go past this entrance to go the other way as well. So. Is this game smarter than I give it credit for? Is it purposefully taking me routes away from my collectibles? Anyway, let's go get fuel. Let's go do that. Oh, we've made it to the gas station on fumes. Some petroleums. Stopped. Stop. Here we go. So we can hold 68 litres. How much are we putting in? Six well, we had a couple of litres left. We had one litre. One litre left. That's cost us 117 creditos. That's what we're calling them now, by the way. They are creditos. Right, let's go get that blue ring. We've not got no damage. We don't need to go to the repair. I have to wait for the lights because we do have to cross as we come out. I've enjoyed rising around in this today. Good choice. Good choice. And haven't been caught speeding yet. Right, where's the way in on this one? I think it's just straight ahead, isn't it? I believe. See no lights again. Yeah, it's probably the... One of them, there's definitely going to be a caravan here. One of the main issues, I think, is when you're in the lower vehicles, you cannot see the lights if you pull up to the lights, which is a little bit silly. So we'll grab our delivery. Let's go get a caravan. Right, so we'll start with... What it sounds like, I'm looking for one that's not going too far, because they want this to be dragged out. That one's not going too far, so we'll do a small caravan, and then hopefully next time I can come back and we'll get a big caravan and give ourselves a challenge. But we'll pull a caravan, and we'll see how it works. But I know it works, we've got a tax turn, I'm going to pull it, but you know, we want, we want varying, we want varying loads. Just have a quick coffee before I get going. Man's on the go all the time. Right, where is it? Is it just around the front? Where's the arrow? It is just round... Where is it? Oh, it's that one. It's right in front of me. <laughs> A dozy bugger. <laughs> I am quite possibly one of the world's worst virtual delivery drivers. So yeah, we've put a load in the back. We will have done an attached load. See, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Can't complain at that. Let's go. This little one, uh, this little one dropped off. Just a little one. Hopefully, the sat nav will catch up with us. 
work out where we're going, or where, at least where we're coming from. Still got us coming from the gas station. Just got to check on my map whether I've got that set for the right place. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, it's just picking this up. It's coming from the petrol station. Are there even lights here? I'm sitting here. Oh. These ones will change now, though, won't they? There we go. There we go. Man in a van with a caravan. Cruising through town. I wonder what the site is going to look like that we dropped this off at. I don't think I've driven past anything that looks like a little, little caravan site or a little holiday site or anything, so. Might be interesting to see. These guys are all waiting for each other. Oh. I'm walking here. Well, at least he was a more intelligent driver than the driver in front of him. Both running off the same AI. <laughs> Not all AI drivers are created equally, clearly. I think he ran that red light as well, though. He's not waiting for no one. <laughs> are we on multiplayer? Is that a real person driving around? Because he did not care at all. Not in the slightest. The weight difference doesn't feel massive. I can feel that I'm, I feel that I'm pulling something. Like with the acceleration, I feel it have been pulled back a little bit, rather than when we just had the uh, the crate on the back when I was driving around empty. It's not massive, but it's you know, it's not a big caravan. I doubt it's you know super heavy, is it? back row the way we could. We could just get going straight and then turn left. I think we will here. No one know. It's across us. Yeah, I don't know why we weaved all the way through everywhere then. That was um that was redundant. Hopefully the sat nav state is where we need to go then. This just seems a little bit strange. Dude, you're sitting on greens. Again. I wonder if they're the same person. Same person that was sitting on greens overhead. I'm not sure where our turn off is going to be. So I don't know how much, how much room I've got for a run up to try and get past him. Much at all, especially if I'm looking out that window. Crikey. Let's not do that again. I was going to see if there was a crate at the farm. That's what I was doing. An almost collision isn't a collision, so we're still good. Yeah, it's still clean. So where is this? What is this? If, um, I guess it is. It's a caravan site. Well, hello, hello indeed. Got a little, little fire pits and everything. Okay. I'm happy to do this. This kid out for people. Right. In their Taurus. That's not too bad. For me, that's not too bad. There we go. Another little one, two kilometers, and parking bonus of 100. Don't have to load, so that's uh, 2,600 on that one. Not sure what that brings us at uh, financially. Should we have a look? I'd like to try and know. 61 grand. So we need some, we need some high paying jobs as well now. 
but I would like to uh, to get the the large caravan and then we'll see how it feels pulling some other vehicles behind or some other loads. But that is going to be it for this episode. Three three jobbies, two little ones and a big one. Um, nicely done, I think. I, I like this little truck. It's fun to little razz around in. Uh, we probably won't stay in it for long. We'll get back to try and do some bigger deliveries. I want to work up to getting a big truck to do the big the big dump loads because there's some big dump trucks. We want one of them. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.